So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna quickly turn it off and then turn it back on again. You wanna repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna turn it off again from the power button and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's then gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you wanna click on advanced options. And now once we're here, I wanna be showing you four ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to repair. If you do not see start to repair, you wanna click on see more recovery options, and then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on start to repair. It's now gonna diagnose your PC, wait for this to load. If that did not work, you wanna click on advanced options, and then troubleshoot, advanced options again, and now command prompt. We're gonna be typing in some commands. If you see any errors on my screen, just ignore it, but in your case, it should be working. So for the first command, we're gonna type in cd space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config, and I click on enter. And now we're gonna type in md space backup five, click on enter. And now we're gonna type in copy space star dot star space backup, click on enter. And now we're gonna type in cd space regback, click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, click on enter. And now we're gonna type in exit, click on enter again. Now you just wanna to continue to Windows, see if that works for you. If that's still not working, you wanna come back to this screen, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start up settings. And then click on restart. And now once we're on this, we're gonna enable safe mode. So you wanna click on either four or F4 on your keyboard. So click on four or F4, wait for this to load. It's now going to take us into safe mode. Now you just want to restart your computer. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the next method, you want to come back to this screen. Now once we're here, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now you want to type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r space. And then your Windows drive letter with a colon. For me, it's going to be C colon. For most of you, it's also going to be C colon. So once you type that in, you want to click on enter. Now you just want to run the scan. I just cancelled the scan on my end because it's going to be taking too long for the tutorial, but in your case, you just want to run the full scan. Once you complete this full scan, you want to close out of command prompt and then continue to Windows. See if that works for you. 